Jet planes in the night sky with you Getting high in the sunrise with you Getting through all the bad times with you I wasn't missing a thing, no I do And I wish that I could be guys it's been a roller coaster and that's why i'm here to encourage anybody who is maybe trying to sit for the exam or something maybe you're, you're you're preparing yourself to do these exams and you're feeling like you can't hack it you can't make it you know it's okay it's okay to feel that way don't worry if as you made it you'll also make it but then let me tell you guys eh? let nobody lie to you that nclex you know those people who feel nclex are fools you know, those people who feel NCLEX, they don't know what they're doing with their lives. I mean, how many exams have you done in life? There's so many exams that you've done in life. By the way, let me tell you, every day you're alive, it's an exam that you're doing. Even professors, it's allowed for them to have butterflies. I mean, you started from your entry level, post undergraduate, postgraduate. You're becoming a professor today and you still, anytime you're told that you need to do an exam, you get butterflies. So it's normal. You see the way you're feeling right now, it's normal. Maybe I'm talking to somebody who've done this NCLEX maybe three times, four times. It's, it's, it's possible, guys. People have been out there saying, you know, I've done NCLEX. This is the fourth time I'm doing NCLEX and it's still not coming through. I'm just so devastated. Hey, who told you it's the end of you? Maybe this is the second, this is the fifth time that you'll do it. And because it was written, you will pass on the fifth time. You cannot be me. And I cannot be you. Even if you were to look at the fingers on your, like, in your hand, it has, it has a different, it has a different, um, not shape. The shapes are the same, but they are not all equal. So we can never be equal. If you look at the fingerprints, like your fingerprints, they are unique. In the whole world, everybody, these are just wonders, everybody, like every day someone is born and everybody said somebody is dying. But fingerprint, fingerprints, like your fingerprints will never be like mine. Even if you're twins, they can't be the same. Correct me guys if I'm wrong. So why do you want to feel like, because ZP did her exam and it shut at 78. You know when it shuts at 78, it doesn't mean that you passed. But by good luck or by, good, by God's grace, you find that you've passed, right? So, who told you because she passed at 78 for the first trial? I remember for the first time, you'll also, you'll also, you'll also pass. No, we are not the same. We are not the same. So, I don't understand. It's normal. Let me not say I don't understand. It's normal. But what I'm trying to say, I don't understand why you should feel discouraged because you've passed NCLEX. You've not passed NCLEX for the first time. There's still time. You know, like the way a child falls down and then they look at their mommy or their daddy. And they're waiting for their mommy to tell them, oh, sorry, can I come and lift you up? No, no, no. You need to dust yourself off, pick yourself up and move on. You know, it's not the end of life. You know, just take it as a lesson and ask yourself, what is it that I feel? What are the gaps that I feel um, are there? Like, what did I do that I was not supposed to do? What did I do that I feel like I need to pull up my socks? What did I do that I feel I didn't do right? You know? What did I do that I feel like, you know, mm, I think happened on a mess. In the last video that I made, I talked about like what me worked for me. What worked for me. What works for me may not work for you. Okay? What works for you may not work for me. Because we've said we are, not, we are not the same. We are not identical. Everybody has a different life. You know, like everybody is different. Like we're all different guys. So, I revised. And uh, the D-Day came. And I went to do my exam. All the way, pew, up to Johannesburg. Oh, Artambo, you received, you know, MedPro by the MedPro guys. Hey, you know, you know the kind of treatment, my friend. You know the kind of treatment you receive at the oh, Artambo. You get there, and then you find somebody is waiting for you with the, with, the, with your name on the on the on the tablet, Zipporah Then you feel you you just they are feeling fly because you've seen a limo or 
you know, nice car, like receiving, waiting for you. I mean, you're going to a five-star hotel. <laughs> so you are there telling yourself, hey man, hey man, I need, I need to hack this because imagine I've come all the way. I've come all the way, like now me, he's from Nyandarwa, from like Ipia, Ukondani, like Mashinani, you know, like in the village. I've taken a plane all the way, four hours up to Oartambo. Hmm? International Airport. You're there feeling fly. Kenya Airways has taken you all the way. You're going to do NCLEX. You've been received like a VIP. You've been, your bags have been, you know, your big bags have been taken up, you know. You, you know, you, you, if you've done with MedPro, you understand what I'm saying. Like, there are no much hassles. Like, there are no hassles because they've organized everything for you. Then you go there, you're taken, like those days we were taken to the Vinci Hotel. Hey, it's a classy hotel, man. It's a classy, beautiful hotel. So we went there, we shown the rooms, we checked in, we check in. Hey, you go to the room, you're like, wow, these are bathtub. Some of these things you've never seen. Oh, you know, you guys, I'm telling you these things because I want you guys to learn and feel encouraged. Some of these things you've never seen them. You're lucky because you never did it. Somebody was coming from the village. I've never seen a bad cup. Yeah, it's possible. Why are you getting surprised? Somebody has never seen a bathtub. Somebody maybe has never seen a shower. Is it true? Yeah, maybe. Why do you think like somebody, somebody who is from the village? I don't know. Anyway, I'm joking. But you can imagine the kind of treatment that you've given. Jokes aside, you can imagine the kind of treatment that you've given. So deep down in your heart, you're telling yourself, oh my God, I need to pass this thing. Uh, I had not even finished reading about um, NCLEX Crusade. I don't know the strategies. So you have a lot of butterflies. A lot of butterflies. Guys, you know, if, you know, there's some people who even get sick. Like me, I had a stomach upset. I had a stomach, a very bad one. My colleague even had, I will not say here because it, was a bit nasty because of anxiety you know the zip i am we went to we went to the hotel and then you know when the drivers pick you from the airport they tell you oh you're from kenya i have received other people from kenya they're in they're in the hotel as well they've come to do the exams like the accent of the south africans forgive me guys but there's a way i would not understand their english i was not picking what they're saying gosh me with my English, oh God. But anyway, God is great. You understand where I come from. So, these guys are there. They're talking to you in English. You, there's an accent, you know, the Zulu. I don't know whether it's Zulu or... I don't know what is that. They have a, a, a funny accent that maybe picks, makes it so difficult for you to pick what they're saying. So, you have to be very keen on what he's telling you. So, he tells you there are some other Kenyans who who've come here. And then, then, I realized, oh... By the way, when we got there, we looked for each other. Somebody was in 707, room 1107, 1104, 11, and we realized we were a group of, of I think, 10 Kenyans, all of them from MedPro, and one Ghanaian with MedPro as well, and then there was somebody else, I think with Interstaff or something, something close, I can't remember exactly. So we met in the same hotel. We didn't go use with the same flight, but we met in the same hotel. So there are some, you know how NCLEX works, there are some people who, like you, with MedPro, you land today, you rest, maybe you just need to familiarize yourself, but, and then the, the hotel room was not far from the exam center, because it's, it was in Santon City, Sant, Santon, yeah, Santon, so it was just like in the same mall, you know, hey, South Africa, big up, guys, those development, they're, they're just, they're just so, they're just good there, eh? so, um, it's, it's just not far, like it's just a place you walk along the path and then you go, that's the exam center. So the first day when you land there, you're taken to the hotel, you're shown your room, like you need to take a refresher, you need to like relax a bit, maybe if you got there late, you need to take supper, blah, 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 and stuff, you need to familiarize yourself. Now you need to go and see the, the exam center. Then you will sleep, you, you, you landed today, maybe like today is a Monday, so Monday you sleep, and then Tuesday, you familiarize yourself with the environment. You get to know where the exam center is. Then you do the exam on Wednesday. Then you fly back to your country, to your home country on Thursday. So you have four days for NCLEX. Now we've, we've landed on Monday. I can't remember exactly which day it was. So assume, let's use it Monday. You've landed on Monday. We met, we met like, I think we were 10 of us. And then something, okay, well, it was not bad. But I think it was, 
which was not bad, but I think it was bad because, you know, everybody, they're, um, like we've said, guys, everybody is different. So there are some people who have like a cramming power. There are others who have, who feel like, um, I only need to cocoon myself in my room and maybe do some, like the last minute rush. Then there are some others who feel like I want to be in a discussion group. So what we did, I think, okay, well, it was not bad because it was kind of an encouragement. We gathered together, all of us, like 10 of us. So we knew, like, all of us are doing exam the same day and we belong to MedPro apart from one person. And then, like, different timings. So there were, like, I think six who were doing in the morning hours, very early in the morning at 8, because we came on Monday, Tuesday. Now, Wednesday, they'll do exams on eight, at 8 in the morning. Then some others will do around 11. Like, it's, it's set with times. Si timings are different. So, I think mine was late. <laughs> My exam was starting at around uh, 3 p.m. Me was set for exams at 3 p.m. Yes. I think we were only two. So you can imagine your, your colleagues... Let me call them colleagues now because we've met. We know like you work in a different hospital. I work in a different hospital. Like we know each other because we are Kenyans. We have a common passport. We have we have a common national language. We are from the same country, but we don't know each other as passing. So we've mingled and we've interacted. So here we are. We meet and then we go to like we like we familiarize ourselves. We used to eat that 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 food was called pap. I think it's pap. Yeah, I think it's pub. I, was it pub or something? Yeah, it was pub. Pub with stick at the Gao, Gao train station. Hey, the, the food was yummy. Yani, we toured the country, we toured the, the city. It was nice. So now the D-Day is here. We've been revising here and there. Me, I'm that kind of a person. If, 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 if it's already here, I mean, I don't need to, I don't need to touch a book because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, gosh, what am I doing? You know, what am I doing? So, fast forward. We're on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now, Wednesday is the D-Day. People have wake up like very early in the morning. We gathered for a word of prayer for everybody. We're just praying to God that, you know, like, just help us, you know. We need to pass. Victory is ours and we believe and trust. And then we, we went. So now... I've been left in the room. So I'm asking myself, should I read? Should I not? Should I do what? Should, you know, we were left like two of us in my room and sent somebody else. And then their time came. I think she was doing around 11. She also left. So me, I'm in the room. At around 11, they, they started the exams. Those, a, a large number of people, a, a large group started at around 8 a.m. So by 11, they were already out. Gosh. Now me, I'm seeing people coming back to the room. They are devastated. Somebody is telling you, during our time, it's not like, oh, sorry, guys. During our time, it's not like, um, during our time, it's not like, uh, like right now, because our exams were up to 145, and the hours you do, you have to do is five hours. So you can either do five hours, or you can either do maybe two hours, depending on your speed, depending on your answering strategies depending on so many factors so there are some who went all the way up to 145 so which means they've done five hours or maybe if your speed you're like you're fast enough you 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 maybe you do a, a, with around four hours but you've gone up to 145 up to 145 the computer shuts down somebody else does two number one number two number three four five 76 77 77 it shuts down. Somebody else, 80, it shuts down. So there's some people now are coming back to the room. I'm trying to ask them, how was it? What did you see? What questions were you asked? Hi, I'm tensed. Ah, I'm sweating. I have stomach issues. I, back out. It's like, I have a now. This one, I will not even read anything. I'll just wait for. And I decided, you know what? When things are tough, you also need to become tough. You also need to get your strategies. So my, my strategies, were, I started praying. I prayed, guys. Let me tell you. Even if you're reading, you have all the memory, like your memory is intact and everything, you can't forget to pray. Gosh, you can't forget to pray. You cannot ignore God. God has to be by your side, you know. You have to chant a prayer all the time. Guys, me, I used to pray for that thing. I prayed for that thing. So I would say, 
have a much maybe like I had put some effort um, maybe also because of praying and stuff God had my prayers maybe I would say God had my prayers because I was telling God hey you need to help me through man I can't go back all the way you know going back to Kenya and then ah, it's just a frustration no so um, it's now my time it's around 2 p.m. I've taken lunch even it's not coming through the lunch is not even coming through after I take it, making coffee, it's not coming through. So I decided to just pack some. I feel like I'm sick. Do you know the feeling of like when you have malaria or when you guys contracted COVID? Like you don't know what symptoms you have. You're just feeling so weird. And it's anxiety. It's allowed, by the way. It's allowed. So I had anxiety. I had what? I had what? I had what? So now it's my time. I'm in the exam room. I'm at the door, you press the bell, you're told somebody answers the bell and tells you to read all the instructions. It was during that COVID time. So you have to have your mask on. The mask, the corona was not just like, it had not faded as per se. So you had to have a mask, you had to have a mask on, you read the instructions. If you have symptoms like fever, coughing, you cannot be allowed in. Of course, you have to have your COVID certificate exam, um, result. Uh, COVID vaccination, you have to have tested. So all those things, and then you have to have your passport. Maybe like you have snacks, maybe you have medications that you take. Then you, you, you're let in. Like after you've read all the, they ask you whether it's your first time here. That's in South Africa. I don't know about other places, but I believe it's the same. So they tell you to read all what is in the uh, notice board. After you've read and understood, you ring the bell. So we press the bell. I'm just alone, guys. So I press the bell. And then when you press the bell, of course, uh, then you let in. So you go there, then you're shown. Like, of course, they have to do the security check. Maybe you've hidden something. You have to be checked. If you have such kind of hair, you have to let it, like, all around for them to understand, like, there's nothing you, you've hidden. Like, they frisk you properly. Security-wise, in terms of exams and stuff, is top-notch. Then you told your own computer number. In that room, I think there are computer. How many computers? There are so, some computers. Then you're told, I don't know how many computers are there. So you're told your computer is number. So you're shown in your computer room. So when you get there, you find your computer is here. You find it's, the, the name is there. And you need not to talk to anybody. You can't talk to anybody. You can't talk to anybody. My friend, you can't talk to anybody. It is you and your computer. Remember, there are cameras all over. The anxiety that you have at that moment. Of course, they, are they called invigilators? They are behind. They are giving you instructions. And then they will come and tell you, it is time to begin. You can start with your computer. So it's giving you instructions. You continue. Mm -hmm. You read quite well. But me, what I did now, myself, before I even touched that mouth, you know, there is a big computer screen. Of course, you can see your other people who are doing. And then you see, for me now, there were not many people because I think in the exam room, I think there were like four people. So there were not many because the others had done the morning hours. So I am there, like uh, I pray and ask, before I even touched that mouse, I prayed and I asked God, God, I come all the way from Kenya. There's so many places that you made me succeed like you you've been with me blah 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 and stuff oh god i've i have come now i'm here i need you to be with me before i touch this mouse god redirect me if you feel if god you feel like i'm just going to click the wrong answer please god redirect me remove all the distractions in my mind give me concentration lord god you've seen me you've seen the effort i put so i just ask of you to give me only what I had read. Give me memory to remember what is important. Now that's a, it's a short prayer that I'm talking. I'm talking to my God. And then after I'm done, I'm like, oh, in the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, blah, blah, blah. Amen. Just talk to your God. Like God, talk to your God, the God that you believe. God answers prayers. So I have finished. And um, I finished now. I finished the... I finished the prayers and then I touch the mouse and I open, I click open. So I continue reading the instructions, the instructions, the instructions. I read the instructions, I finish. And then until now the exam comes, the exam starts to pop, question number one. 
by good lord hey by good i don't know by good word or by good whatever every question that was coming at least i had an idea i could see this question i had seen it somewhere during my revision maybe i had seen it in a new cube in a cube bank but it's only that it's twisted i encountered several satas i think they were about 20 so the trick that i used if i am so sure you know there was this thing with sata i think it was revised i don't know whether it's 2019 guys i've forgotten these things i think it was a revision of 2019 or 2017 whereby they were saying with sata questions all can be correct or one can be also an answer select all that applies so you can select one as long as you don't select none because it select all that applies so you can select all or you just select one and then if you select one and it was the correct one it gives you a mark the old nclex generation but if you select one and then number two was wrong like answer number choice number one was correct choice number two was wrong and you selected you selected it it gives you it lowers your your graph I, we believe we believed that was what was happening so i believed maybe that is what helped me because i used to select what i am 100% sure if i'm 100% sure of an answer it is what i will pick i will not fidget i will not fumble around if i'm so sure this is an i and they're asking what do i need to see and of course i know i need an i to see i don't need a nose to see i'll only select an i because an i i am so 100% sure an i is used for seeing i hope you understand i'm not trying to say that those are the kind of questions that were there that were there i'm just trying to bring to bring an illustration for you to understand so i got several satas i used my trick like what i'm trying to tell you what i'm sure is what i'll pick if i'm not sure i will not and i move to the next by good luck i find another satas so i'm telling my god oh so which means in the other one maybe i did it well because with uh, with nclex nclex is so funny the way it said because it's computer adapt computer adaptive testing like the way you're answering questions it determines how easy or how difficult the next question will be and then we used to have that meal okay well i don't know it's still like the real thing but people used to say like when we were revising we used to get so many stories and like people were giving different advices i think i would still tell you to try it because because i think it worked for me because they were saying if you realize that you're getting a lot of satas maybe maybe not you're doing well because satas were not easy to hack i believe even right now satas are not easy to hack because you know if you do like maybe it's a sata and it has five choices you either choose five or you choose one because you cannot choose zero you either choose three or four or five or one but not none so assuming this sata was requiring it to give me three answers that are correct and you give me one one answer that is correct and then two answers that are that are wrong it means your graph is still going down and assuming maybe like by the time you're starting your graph from number one, you started from above or below the, the graph line like you know the way they talk about those graphs and stuff so assuming you started from below the graph line the basic the baseline it means you're still going down below so in short what i'm trying to say is according to what people explain according to what the explanation that is out there like if you do a question number one, you find it so easy and then the next one is so easy the next one is so easy man be very sure there is a possibility that your graph is going down you're not doing so well and maybe it will get to a point it will get to a point maybe like number 75 because that's the minimum that in the old nclex generation the minimum you do was i think 75 so maybe it will get to a point the computer is like hey yo at 75 man there's nothing you're doing so let me just shut down at least because we're not going anywhere it's trying it's computer adaptive test it's trying like cat mode it's trying to assess your level of critical thinking and it's not it's not adding up or maybe you started way above the baseline so question 1 was difficult and you hacked it by good luck you can remember that that's the way the framing of the question what you had revised and stuff and then you maybe you got it right 
input number two, you got it right. But for you, you're feeling like, oh, this thing is so difficult for me. What is happening? My God. Then the next thing is still difficult. Remember, maybe like in our brain, you're telling yourself that the graph is going up. So maybe me, myself, personally, I think by good luck or by God's grace, I don't know because you don't know how it's marked. You don't know. Nobody knows how it's marked. But I, I'm thinking in my own thinking and according to the information that is out there, I'm trying to think maybe my graph was above the baseline because I used to find the next question is difficult. But at least because of the revisions that I had done, different groups and stuff, at least I'm able to comprehend the question. And then I was not reading my question once, nor twice. And I was not reading for the sake of reading that question. I was reading the question and to understand understand the keywords, the whys, the whats, you know, the key stem of that question, the question stem. Like I would read the question word by word. Word by word. Is this question talking about safety? Now, for you to understand what I'm saying, go back to NCLEX Rosed International and get the strategies of answering those questions. Because I used to re read a question and then I'm like, okay, this question, what does it want from me? What are they talking about? Is it patient safety? Are we talking? Are we, are we more oriented? Are, are, we, are we more oriented to the nurse? Are we talking about like what system is this? What kind of a question? Is it a strategy? Is it a safety question? You know, is it a priority question? You know, like you know, I used to read. I was reading that question to understand. I would not pick an answer if I am not sure. And then now I go to the elimination. I start now eliminating the questions. You know, using the question strategies of answering questions. I start now eliminating. Okay, question number one. Is it an assessment? Ah, it's not an assessment. Is it an implementation? It's not an implementation. Okay. Is it an evaluation? It's not an evaluation. Do I need it? No, I don't need it. So I eliminate that one. I go to, to choice number two. Okay, uh -huh. what is it talking about? Is it an assessment? Is it an implementation? Is it a diagnosis? You know, like I understand, I would even talk to myself deep down in me, like in my brain now, I have a conversation, me and myself. Because I need, I need to understand that question before I even go down and pick that mouse and click the answer. So by good luck, maybe God was helping me because remember I had told God from the beginning, God, if you find me going to the wrong question, please redirect me, redirect me to the correct question. So maybe God was just telling me, don't, 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 don't pick that don't pick that one, pick the next one. Then by good luck, it's the answer. Then I go to the next. Maybe I find a certain, I'm like, oh gosh, now what are these? What are these? What are these? What are these? So I go up to number 75. In my mind, I'm like, oh Lord Jesus. People have been saying it needs to shut at 75. If it doesn't shut, <laughs> you failed. But remember, it can shut at 75, you've passed. It can shut at 75, you failed. It can shut at 145, you've passed. It can shut at 145, and you failed. Those are just maids around there, you know? So, when it got to 75, I got so scared. And then I started tensing. It's okay to be anxious. You can ask for a break. I think me, at around 69, the computer asked me for a break. You know, there's a way it pops up just some big word it's time for break like you've done for two hours do you need a break hey who is me who am i who is am i i said yes i need that break because my god what i'm feeling my sugars are low i need to go and top up something ah i need to go and eat some candy so i lift up my hand and then i told the individual it's time for me to take a break and then he asks you do you need a break and he tells you yes then you click on the yes the computer stops like running the exams and stuff of course, you go out, they show you out the washrooms. Then the same way you came back, they frisk you for security purposes, and then you get in, then you click start, and then you continue with your exam. So I was, I think, at around 69 when the computer asked me for a break. And remember, we think we were about four people, so people are leaving. Like, the computer has shut down, I, maybe at 75, somebody has, they were doing, I think, a different exam. Pearson viewed delivers different sorts of exams. It's not, it's not only NCLEX for nurses. So I think in that exam room, there were some other people who were doing other exams. So me, I'm there. I've come back now at 69. 
Now chant a prayer again, God, I need to I need to be with you. Like you need to be with me here. I only invited you to come and sit with me in this. You know this seat you need to be here with me. You know you need to be with me, God. Like like you don't have a choice. You can't leave me alone here. What are you doing? You can't leave me here alone, man. I'm talking to my God. I'm telling him, "Hey, you need to be with me. You need to redirect me. I'm at number 69. I don't know. Hey, 60, 69, 70, 71." In my mind, I'm like, it might, sh- it might shut at 75, but if it doesn't, well and good, we go on. 71, 72, 74, 75. I'm waiting before, like, when I click submit, like, next, I was thinking it would pop the blue thing or whatever, like, telling me I'm, I finished the exam now, bye-bye, do a survey question or something. Ha! Huh? Nothing. My God. So I still have to continue with this exam. Hmm, soldier on. Soldier on zip. Take full armor. Now we go. AK-47. We go on. Now here I am. 75. I go to 76. It's not shutting down. So guys, now here, this is where we are. If you go to 75, now question number 75, and your computer does not shut down, and because you had had somebody saying on YouTube or somebody was telling you it has, it must shut at 75, it does, if it doesn't, you fail or whatever, please don't believe, don't get disappointed. After all, tell yourself, you have five hours. The exam is set for five hours. So those who set exam for five hours, they were not fools. They knew what they are doing. And those who, the, the ones who said, the questions to be 145. They knew you're capable of doing 145 questions. Okay? So take a full armor. If you need to recharge like your prayers, if you need to take a break, it's okay. The anxiety that you're feeling is fine. You don't need to you don't need to get scared or something, you know? It's okay to feel the way you're feeling. So it's fine. You understand? So when it go to 75, 76, it's not shutting. I told God, at the end of the day, I came all the way from Kenya to do an exam which is for five hours. So God, I need five hours. I can do it. I can do it for five hours. I'm here. I don't care what others are doing out there. I don't care. I have to finish this because I only have five hours to determine my future. You know, me, the Wangeshi from Laikipe, I only have these five hours. So God, give me strength, give me energy to finish what you, you brought me here to start. So I go 76. Oh, shouting. So I and now I'm relaxed. I'm like, ah, it's fine now. I'll go up to 145. I think the energy, because I went to coffee. I had cold coffee, had carried cold coffee. So when I went for the break, I took coffee. I took some candies, like two. So now I have energy, like I'm feeling energized. Even though it was cold, the room is a bit cold. But at least now I am not feeling sleepy. I'm not drowsy anymore. I'm like, I, I'm feeling I'm fine. Because remember, by the time you're getting to 75 question, I think you have taken two hours or something. It's not an easy exam, guys. But with God you have to hack it like god will help you and you'll do it so now i'm at number 76 it has no shutdown i have the energy blah blah now I'm, I'm okay i'm fully energized 76 77 78 when i'm going to 78 a certain screen comes with no questions like it's a survey question i'm like oh lord jesus lord jesus what is this i was ready for 70 for 145 again what is this i thought it was gonna shut at 75 it has not and then i was so ready for 145 now it's not 145 what is happening god like god what is this <laughs> i go back i lift up my hand and i tell the invigilant it has finished i think i'm done what do i do now it's like you want if you wish to continue with the survey questions it's okay so i'm like ah after all, I'm in South Africa Central City, so what do I do? Let me just do it. I did the survey questions. I did the, I think there are two questions, five questions, survey questions, and then the other ones that counts to your exams of something. I can't remember exactly what it was. So you do it. And then I did, and then I'm like, oh, I am done. So when I finish, like when I'm done with the survey questions and everything, I declare, I go back, I put like everything, what you had been given, the paper like you were using for, you know, normally, sorry, I didn't tell you guys, when you get in, you're given a rough paper, you don't need to carry rough papers, you don't need to carry anything, even a paper or a pen. So they give they give you a rough board where you're supposed to, like, jot down your, if you're somebody who sees a question and write down, you know, of course, you need to write some small notes. So you have to declare, like, you have, it called declaration or whatever, you have to take it back to the invigilators before you get out of the room. So that's what I did. 
go to Kitab, put it back. Then, um, of course, they are there telling me what we need to do. We wish you all the best in your exam. Uh, we will get the exams maybe after 48 hours or 72 hours, blah, blah, blah. And we wish you all the best. Safe flight back home. So, thank you. But let me tell you the anxiety that is in your heart. Like you have a lot of butterflies. So you go back, pick up your things. Maybe if you had carried some snacks, like me, I had carried some snacks, which I didn't even eat. I, I, I ate only the candies and the coffee. I had carried some snacks. I think I had carried some apple and some soft spongy cakes or something, but I didn't even eat them. Hey, the anxiety, my friend. You even feel like you have gastroenteritis. So I took, uh, I took the nini. I took them. I took my bag, the one I had carried, the phone and everything. I declared that I have nothing. The spectacles, they check everything like your lenses, and then you go to back to the room. By the time I was getting back to the room, guys, headache plus plus. I only wanted to sleep and nothing else, because you remember the previous night you didn't sleep well. Hey, I'm there going back to the room. Guys are celebrating. They've already received their results. There are some boards of nursing. You know, like when I told you guys, Pearson, Pearson View is just a deliverer of the exam, whereby they have been mandated by the NCBSN through a certain board of nursing in the States to deliver the exam. But the main controller of everything is the NCBSN, whereby we say it is the National Council of States of Board of Nursing in America, right? And then we say they are so those small, small boards. Like, like me now, I'm registered under Montana. Now Montana... Of course, maybe there are some, there's New Mexico, there's Texas, there's whatever. No, there are some boards that take a bit longer. Even if the exam, after you've done the exam, of course, it, it reflects on their website or something. I don't know, it reflects to their, to their side. Eh? So they, they normally know whether you've passed the exam or you, whether you've not passed. The moment you click, if the last question it goes direct into their database, that Zipporah Gishohi from Kenya, blah, 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 has sat for the exam, started at 8 a.m. Santon City was the exam center in Johannesburg. And then uh, she finished at 5.45 p.m. And then she did up to 76. Did she pass? Yeah, according to the computer, she passed. According to the computer, she didn't pass. So we need to issue the license. So when I was going back to the room, already there are some people who had already, who had already gotten their results. They had already gotten, like, guys, there were guys from New Mexico who had already received their licenses. Not even results from Pearson View. License. They had a license number. So me, I'm there devastated, and I'm like, gosh, mine sat at 78. I don't even know what to expect. I mean, anyway, and I'm with your Montana. Nobody has New Montana. Like, nobody's with New Montana, so I don't know whether they're going to deliver the, 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 the results after... After 48, 72, I don't know. So then you're calling people, yo, yo, do you belong to Montana? After how long did you get your results? You're like, you know, your anxiety level is high. My friend, that's what I'm telling you. If your anxiety level right now is high, it's normal. It's normal, my friend. Don't kill yourself. Don't beat yourself because of the anxiety. No. So, I, and then I told myself, I slept, I think, for like an hour. Then I woke up because the following day now we had to catch a flight back home. So you need to know places at the end of the day. You need to know what is that Gao train station. You know, you need to familiarize yourself at least with the city, blah, 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 and stuff. Because our flight, I think, was late in the morning, late, late in the evening, the following day. So at least we had time. So um, we moved around. I slept like for an hour. Then I felt even if I sleep and then I've already finished the exam, do I have a choice as per now? Like I don't have. I need to dust off myself and move. Move, 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 move with life. So we went out, blah, 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 celebrated with those people who were celebrating. Ha, I keep on checking my email. <laughs> There's nothing. There's nothing from, the only thing I had received, I think, after like an hour, was the message from Pearson View. And then there were these things that people used to say that you can do a pop-up trick or something, pop-up, whatever. Then I was afraid. But then I was afraid. I was like, hey, I don't want to do it. I was my friend who was telling me, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, you know. And they were like, hey, should we, should we not? Should we? Should we? Aye. They're telling us, do if it, you had passed, it will not take your money. Aye. We were afraid. Remember the Winnie had talked about in the other video, the one who teaches Kenyan nurses how to prepare for NCLEX. I call her. She's back home in Kenya. 
hi Winnie, after my exam, I want to know, you know, blah, 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 blah. He's like, ah, you relax, relax, man. You know, the first one, you know, at the end of the day, you know, she guards you, she's there telling me, you know, at the end of the day, even if what, blah, 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 you'll not be the first one. You know, she's just giving me size and then I'm like, ah, whatever, let me go. So we went out. Coming back, of course, because you know when you when you when you're new in a country and you don't have the local SIM card. Of course, when you get out of the Wi-Fi area, you don't have access to like you don't know what's happening. Like you don't have access to WhatsApp, no communication, no nothing. So we went out. We left our phones in. I uh, know we had the phones because of taking pictures and memories and stuff. So now here we are. Uh, we are like okay. Well, now uh, because now we we are here. We want to know what Winnie said. We go back to WhatsApp and say, huh, she sent like a celebrity. Oh, you passed. I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. The trick says that you passed the exam. I'm like, oh, really? I can't believe it. But remember, I've not even received the, ex the results from Montana. I think I was receiving my results from Montana when I had already landed back in Kenya. But I, I knew, I knew like maybe I've, I've, I've made it. So guys, this message is to you. You, you who've done the exam like first time, it is shattered 75, you didn't make it. You tried again, second time, after maybe four months, 79, you didn't make it. You tried the third time, at 120, you didn't make it. It's not the end of it. It's not the end of it. You still can do it, believe yourself. Wake up, dust yourself, do all it takes, get all the materials, pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. Guys, pray. Prayers work as well. Prayers work, by the way. Prayers work, guys. Nobody should lie to you that prayers don't work. Prayers work. So pray and believe. Okay? Pray and believe. Okay? Pray and believe. And I wish you all the best. If we did it, if we did it, we did it, 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 it. If we passed the NCLEX, you shall also make it. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best. You can reach out. Maybe there's something that I know that will help you. I may not be an expert in these things, but at least I may share something with you that maybe will be beneficial to you. If you feel like this video has helped you in a way, don't forget to share. Don't forget to comment, don't to give it a thumbs up. Because at the end of the day, we say this channel is all about sharing our experiences, you know, like trying to help each other, uplift each other. Let me not grow alone, let's grow together. Let me not pass the exam alone, let's pass together. Okay? Let me not go alone, let's go together. What I know, I bring it on the table, we share. What you know, bring it here, comment down below that we understand where we are at this point. This is to my Kenyan nurses out there. Please, NCLEX is doable. If you passed your nursing council exam, if you went through those exams, the MOOC exams, and you passed, you will pass it. If you passed through Form 4 and you passed your KCSE, you will pass NCLEX. Do not procrastinate. Let people not watch our sikuzi woga. That's what we normally say in Kenya. Mta sikuzi woga. In Kikuyu, I think it sounds better. I love my language. Muru daga kwederi woya. Let people not sell out like you know. Let people not sell you fear out there. If there is such a word in English, like let people not intimidate you because they are telling you NCLEX is difficult. Yes, you might fail the first time because people fail, and then if you fail, you're not the only one. You're not the one who will enter in the Guinness Book of Records that you failed the NCLEX. Every day, we go through exams and trials in our lives. Being a mother is an exam. There is no manual for you to take care of your kids. Who told you that you're supposed to bring up your kids this way? You learn along the way, okay? So nobody should tell you that you've never done exams. You've been through a lot of trials and you've been passing the trials, understand? So this should not be, the fact that people are telling you that you know people go there and fail, should not be a hindrance for you not to start. AMCA, End of register. If you want to start the journey alone, it's fine. Look for people who can help you, maybe in registering for those for those things. Um, go on website. You can also go on Instagram and search for Nurse Judy Kenya. She's in America and she's doing a great job there teaching people how to start the process. And then at the end of the day, you will learn a lot. 
you will learn a lot you will learn a lot guys i'm telling you you will learn a lot you know a lot of things are out there you will learn a lot so don't don't procrastinate procrastination is something that is so wrong but most of the times i feel like i feel like intimidations and then plays along plays a major role in people's lives when they're trying to procrastinate because you feel like um somebody is telling you oh akio kitu na kwanga ngumu if we did it you can also do it yo dust up and wake up if you fail the first time you're there just depressed you're cocooned in your house you don't want to talk it can you talk it out anyway maybe you will tell me something and i will tell you by the way maybe that's why you went wrong you know and you will learn something a problem shared is a problem half solved you know if you talk to me today and i feel like oh maybe that's why you went wrong then we we'll maybe like brainstorm and tell you oh mimi this is how i did it and maybe it helped me maybe you can try adapt my ways and maybe it will help you okay so guys do not sit there and feel like it's the end of life no it's not the end of life that the fact that you failed exam it's not the end of life wake up dust yourself and move on until next time guys see you please don't forget to subscribe if not if you've not subscribed if it's your first time guys please 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 guys subscribe we are at i think 100 and something subscribers right now please let's get to a to 200 at least at a kind of 400 you know please let's get to 400 subscribers and then we'll of course we'll go let's grow together you know guys so bye bye till next time guys i wish you all the best and until next time ciao